Workers who took distance swimming to a mind-melting extreme last summer. Over 25 days in July and August, they swam, get ready for this, 50 10Ks in 50 states. So we got Katie Ledecky in here, Bobby Fink in here, all distance swimmers. We know you train hard, safe to say you probably never swum a set quite like that. A 10K in all 50 states in under a month is pretty unbelievable. The brothers traveled around 20,000 miles, 9,000 by plane, 11,000 in their RV, and saw every state in America through a pair of goggles. Do we have an award for that? They finished on August 13th in their home state of Arizona swimming in Lake Powell. I think we have a picture of them. No worse for the wear. Do we have that somewhere, anywhere here? Do we have a picture of them? If it pops up behind me, just let me know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the ultimate swim brothers, Joe and John Zomitis. Good evening, everyone. Now, you might be asking yourself, what were they thinking? It's a fair question. I think we asked ourselves that a few times during this, that crazy month, especially the couple of days where we did four 10Ks in 26 hours. It was a surreal, unforgettable adventure as we gained a unique aquatic perspective of this beautiful country. We did it not only to test ourselves and to share a once-in-a-lifetime experience as brothers, but also to raise money for the USA Swimming Foundation. Our initial goal was to raise $10,000, and we're proud to say that we surpassed that with, a t with five days to go. So we gave ourselves 30 days to do the ultimate swimathon, and we wrapped up our final 10K in Arizona on day number 25. But enough about our wild open water journey. Let's meet your nominees for the 2022 Perseverance Award. Your first nominee is 27-year-old Leah Smith. At the, tw at the 2021 Olympic trial, she faced brutal disappointment in missing the Tokyo Olympic team. But in 2022, she bounced back with her fastest performance in years, qualifying for the world championship team and swimming to bronze medal in the 400 freestyle and gold as a member of the 4x200 free relay. Next is the University of Georgia's Luca Orlando, who has dealt with an inordinate share of adversity in his young career, from major shoulder surgery to an emergency appendectomy. Orlando has overcome every obstacle. In 2022, he followed an incredible performance at the NCAAs and qualified for his first world championship team in the 200 butterfly. He placed fifth in that race in Budapest. Your, Your final nominee is 25-year-old Lily King, who learned she had COVID in the lead up to the world championships Though weakened and lacking her signature speed, she found her groove in the 200 breasts in Budapest, where she swept to her first world title in that event. <laughs> Leah Smith, Luca Orlando, and Lily King are your nominees for the Perseverance Award. Last year, Leah Smith narrowly missed qualifying for the U.S. Olympic team in three events. This summer, she collected gold in the 4x200 free relay and bronze in the 400 free at the World Championships. And then Leah Smith, look at the top. Keep an eye on that one right there, Theo. And Smith gets bronze. What a veteran move by Leah Smith. This is the third world that Katie and I will be on the podium together. That's really special. I've just had a time of my life. Lily King contracted COVID before the trials. She fought her way onto the World Champs team, qualifying in both breaststrokes. King won her first world title in the 200 breast, along with gold as a member of the women's 4x100 medley relay. Lily King to the wall, gets the 200 title, the world crown on the breaststroke. I guess I'm a distance swimmer now, so that kind of stinks, but... <laughs> I'd argue the greatest American female breaststroker in history. 
After breaking onto the national scene in 2019, Luca Orlando suffered a dislocated shoulder. He returned in 2022, qualifying for his first major international competition and racing to a fifth place finish. To the wall, and it will be Luca Orlando by about a tenth. And the Golden Goggles goes to Leah Smith. Wow, um, I have to say, persevering is a lot harder when your brutal disappointment <laughs> is um, broadcasted on NBC uh, for eight days. But um, the past two years of my life have just been such a journey, and there's a lot of people I have to thank for um, even just being able to stand up here today. I'd like to thank USA Swimming and the USA Swimming Foundation. Uh, like Bobby, I'd like to thank Team Shaq, um, my amazing donors. Um, I would also like to thank my family. Um, my family w is watching right now. They already texted me asking me where the other half of my dress is. Um, so I'm really feeling their love tonight. Um, I would like to thank my date tonight, my best friend Hannah. Um, she was the first person I called when I didn't make the Olympics um, and I sobbed on the phone to her and I don't even know what you say to someone who is incoherent on the phone to you in that moment, but um, that just meant the world to me. And um, I also have just so much thanks to give to the University of Texas and my coaches. Um, I have a little short story about my coach Carol who's here tonight. Um, at the World Championships, the 400 free was the first day. And every, every single day, Carol writes me a practice on a little printed out piece of paper. And that day, she wrote me a practice. And she had a quote at the top um, that was a Lady Gaga quote. And it said, when I wake up in the morning, I feel like any other insecure 24-year-old girl. And then I say, B word, you're Lady Gaga. You get up and walk the walk. And um, I just think that really encapsulates, you know, how much like energy and love Carol puts into her athletes and program. Um, and persevering would not be possible without all of the people and the village that you have behind you. So I am so thankful for my people and my village. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Leah. And on behalf of all of us at NBC, I apologize for airing the Olympics. Our bad. Won't do it again. Uh, on deck now, it is the Coach of the Year Award to present a breaststroke star from the University of Tennessee. At the 1996 Atlanta Games, he won silver in the 100 breaststroke and set an American record. Joining him, 